Since you guys like our outside videos so much, I thought I'd do one of Trig today. He's acting sort of strange. There must be something in the tree. He keeps trying to smell it. He's been on the other pillar and now he's on this one. Hey, what are you thinking about? What's you smell? This is a uh, true trig right here. Doing weirdo rolls and stuff like that. What is going on? What do you smell today? You smell something? Oh, you smell something. <laughs> he rarely gets on these posts. So, um, must be something intriguing enough to make him want to keep smelling. I would guess that it has to be a smell he knows, too. Hi, what are you doing? A very smelly guy today. Very smelly guy. Oh, smelly guy? Oh, I can rub my pheromones on that camera. His paws sometimes look so humongous to me. What's up there? What do you smell? What do you smell? Gauss, what do you smell? I love on cats this separation. He has to give me his profile again. That separation that occurs in their fur right there. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> that zoom. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about because he keeps moving. Doom, doom. I see tiggies. Are there birdies up there or squirrel friends? Got squirrel friends or birdies up there? Squirrel friends? My goodness. My goodness. I know you guys probably want to look up, but that's all you got up there. I've already looked up a thousand times. Gaoxin, I don't doubt something's there. The cats are smart, but I have no idea what it is. Hi, what's going on? You're kind of getting kind of crazy about this one. As you guys know, Trig is usually under the hostas or under the Mexican heather bush that I have. Um, he's not on top of a pillar, unless I put him there. But when he jumps up there, He's on it. Go is it could we see? We smell. What do you smell, Cotin? You smell another baby bird? Ooh, maybe that's it. He's kinda of doing his baby bird thing. <laughs> What's up there? You want cheats? He doesn't respond as well to that as Charlie does. Guys, you want cheats? Just want that smell. What is it? Hi, baby. I know. I just um, put Charlie in the sink and washed off his paws so he could be smelling that. <laughs> Dang it, only if those posts were wider, huh? They would have been good for you as a kitten. I know. Oh, whoa, birdie. Oh, I love birdies. Oh my gosh, if I could get him chattering. He chatters a lot, but I can never catch it on video. Oh, nope. Not today. Not today. Okay, Gaussie. We gotta go inside. You ready? Oh, don't talk about that. Um, a stick fell from the tree and I picked it up so he could smell it and then he wanted to play and this is what we do with sticks because this is what we've done for years with sticks.
His coat looks so gorgeous right now. Wayne. Go, I'm gonna go back, back, back. Get it. Don't. I think you broke it. What? I thought you broke it. Did you break it? That piece fell off? Okay. Gosh, I think it's going to rain again. We got to go inside. I know it might seem a little bit mean to poke him on either side, but it's the idea of getting him the exercise of moving back and forth, too, that I'm trying to accomplish with this. Gosh, you feel those raindrops? Guys, see those raindrops are for the ice. I said, go inside, and you go inside, and you go inside. Trig is my rain cat. He doesn't care if it rains. I mean, pouring rain he doesn't like, but um, sprinkling he doesn't care about. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And Chiggy says bye, everybody. You ready? Charlie's already inside. Okay. Here